Like the ancient Chinese proverb says. Yeah, 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 yeah. How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? Previously on Kimba TV. Amalisa still tempted by shorts around 35.6? Yes. Yeah, that looks that looks interesting, Amalise. You know, but everybody I think everybody sees a sweep coming. Lots of liquidity or like the last bit to grab, right? Right? So I would prefer this and I would prefer that. But do you see how before I was looking for this and now it's moving up because the market is continuing to make higher uh lows? Good Monday morning. Where did y'all roll at? I'm actually going to be going to Dallas instead of Austin. Anyways, how was everybody's weekend? Y'all, You guys have a good weekend? Um, don't be late, Yanny boy. Mandalo says, how was your weekend? My weekend was fucking amazing. Um, I um, shot a bunch of stuff. Um, went shopping. I actually didn't get much shit, but baby girl got a bunch of stuff. Got to spoil her. And I think um, I found a place in Dallas that I really like. All right, y'all ready to do a little TA? Okay, so, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, um, I am not in anything because um, the plan over the uh, on Friday was I was going to wait for that, right? So maybe we get that. Um, and But that being said... Um, that wick is going to get filled at some point too. So I think, let's just keep it dead ass simple. Let's identify the levels. We've got the 35.5 sweep, which is the same plan from Friday. And then um, over the weekend, we had uh, this construction. So there's a 34.3, 34.350 sweep. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to take this sweep but I think the 33.9, 33.8 is a good long attempt. So that's what I think what I'll probably do. Okay, and then obviously as we go up or as we go down, we want open interest to help us out. And um, we probably don't need S&P Boo Gammas to be too um, distinct. So that's probably, I got to uh, load everything up real quick though. So hold on. How many of you guys are thinking about taking that 35.5, 35.6 short? Um, I, if it's a swing fail, I'll probably do it. Um, 34.3 is also a swing fail, right? So that one, I don't think I'm going to take. However, the 33.9, I'll probably take. 33.8 to be exact, actually, right? And it has to be a sweep. So well, I'll let the sweep happen, and then I'm going to do the thang thang. So pretty straightforward. I'm not going to really overcomplicate Monday too much. Bugamas aren't really going to help us. So I think we're just a little bit on our own this week in terms of um, like S&P confluence, if you will. So I'm going to just keep it dead ass simple. Karen says, who juicing? I hope all of you guys are juicing. I hope all of you guys are juicing. Slash Poke says, got stopped out of my short. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, Slash Pokey. You were here on Friday when I said I closed my short, almost at Pico Bottom, right? People were, like, asking why I closed my short. But um, but that's okay. I mean, I think the uh, the move up, you know, however it happened, was kind of pretty um, anticipatory. So we'll see what happens. You know, obviously the 35-5, 35-5 sweep is what we want. So, But I can give – we can do another recap. We can do another recap. I would assume most of you guys had these sweep levels identified anyways. You know what I mean, Haristad? So 34.3 is like a valid, like, because you because you guys already know this. This is as one way or another, at some point, you know this fucker is going to get retraced, right? You know that fucker is going to get retraced, Okay. So, you know, if it, if it goes to 35.5, we, we beat the shit out of, we beat 35.5 and 35.6 to death, right, last week? Everybody knows about that short, I think. So we don't really have to talk about that. That was, we, we killed that shit last Friday, right? So it's, it's, that's still in play. That wick is going to get retraced, right? Both of these motherfuckers are going to get retraced. I hope that makes sense. This guy's going to get retraced for sure. We just don't know which one is going to come first. And that fucker is going to get retraced. They're both going to get retraced. So you can either be waiting for a sweep long here, sweep short here, or in my opinion, I think the better one would be like the 33.8 sweep, 33.9 sweep, right? That's it.
Uh, David Alden says, thanks a lot, understood. What about ETH? Looks bullish. Well, I think you're going to be... If you're already in a long, then you're Gucci. Especially, have you looked at ETH BTC? So look at ETH BTC. That's the first thing that I would probably say. Okay, this is your daily. So first things first, like just right off the bat, you know, just start doing stuff like this so you don't get overly too carried away, all right? If you look at it on the four-hour time frame, look at what it's doing right now. You see what it's doing? I would say that it just did that, okay? So that, you know, you're going to be waiting for ETH BTC to hit this. <clears throat> so between here and here that's the amount of time you have left on the bullishness for eth david in my opinion because you know you need to penetrate through that or see the reaction because you could just go beep all right um so that's eth btc here's eth usdt look at eth usdt um when we looked at altcoins earlier okay you are going to notice that there's some altcoins that are already hitting the 75786 and there are some that are at the golden pocket okay so this is what i mean by don't get too bullish like you're already in a long okay so you know you're going to be approaching this and don't forget about how this is your value area uh high like actually let's fix this Okay, you're, you're approaching um, value area high, and I think you also want to do something like this, brother. Um, you see what I'm talking about? So you've got single prints, point of controls, okay? You got value area high, Fibonacci, lots of resistance coming up. So... When you ask me, does it look bullish? Well, I mean, we were, we, we, I don't know if you were here or not, but we were talking about this sweep, swing failure long. So I think you would be t starting to TP the rest of that long. So, yeah, I, I would just be careful because I bet people are going to start TPing their longs, David. Roger that. You see it though, right? You see the single prints, you see the point of control, you see the range. Value area high, you see the Fibonacci coming up, right? And you just saw that ETH BTC was coming in, coming into a little bit of resistance too, right? So be careful, brother, okay? Abby says, I know you're a level to level guy, but can you talk about the positive of the move in the higher time frame? I feel like we just talked about that bit, Abby. Um, but on the higher time frame after rejection off of, th so this is, uh, this is what I would like to see, um, I guess on the higher time frame, um, um, dink, dink, and then dink. So it, nothing's really changed too much, bit happy. Okay, so like I would love to see like the 36, you know, 37 sweep and then we go all the way back down and sweep 32 fives, you know, maybe it's like this. Maybe it only sweeps the 33. I'm not sure. Right? And then and then we resume back up. And after that or too hard to see now. Yeah, I mean the thing is is what's really the point though, bit happy? Yeah, that's, I think it's a little bit too far ahead. So, probably like another pullback from 40. Bit happy. Ziphaus has just got that long sweep in the golden pocket. Dude, I am, I am a proud parent right now. I got a, I got a single tear rolling down the side of my cheeks right now. Butt cheeks. What? Coke Zero is the same, same, same. Oh my God, look at these lines growing up. Let's fucking go. Bugatti. Uh, Davis says, yeah, I saw it, but I didn't care about it so much then. It'd be like that, right? Honestly, I don't know that I will try a TRB trade from what I've seen so far, but I'm looking at it, so who knows? Here's the thing, Davis Steele. If you want to take a shot, you can sit there and you, you know exactly how much you would be down if you got full filled and full stopped. 
And so the, it comes down to, are you comfortable with that? Is it worth losing that to take a shot and for the potential reward? You know, I think if you just close your eyes and you think about that number, that potential realized loss, if you do get fulfilled and full stopped out, you're going to immediately know if you're Gucci with that or if you're not. So I think for most of us, like deep down inside, we know what the risk tolerance will be for these shit coins. So for me, I think it's like I lose like 35.5 or 35.6K or something like that. So like worst case with some crazy slippage, like maybe I lose 40. I'm totally fine with that, dude. You know, so I'll take a shot. I mean, I'm kind of interested to see what how it plays out. So fuck it. So I got pretty good confluence with like uh, point of control, fib, uh, single print, all that Gucci stuff. So, yep. And it's a pretty tight stop. So, and you know what's really cool? Um, Mexi, they, they won't let me trade more than 4,000 TRB. So it's even better. Fuck it. Uh, Franco says, I can't rewind. Are you in a short on TRB? That's a negative, Franco. That's a negative. Um... Yeah, so ba basically, this is what I would say, Franco. First things first, there's single prints and point of controls to the upside, okay? So hint number one, take a look at the TPO stuff, the market profiles, okay? Single prints, um, TPO, value area high, value area low, point of control, all that stuff, okay? Then layer on Fibonacci levels. Alrighty, and then sprinkle on some volume profile. Alrighty. Yeah, but but Franco, but Franco, I said this earlier too. I started to do some TA and I'm kind of playing a TRB potential play because mainly because of what James AP and I have been talking about. And what you need to understand is, is that James AP has been DMing me on Discord. And, and sorry if I'm putting, uh, I'm putting you on blast, uh, James AP. But uh, I, I mean everything that I say as like a compliment to James AP. James AP has been DMing me on Discord for the last three, four weeks. And I'll let, I'll let James AP speak for himself, you know. But I know that he's prepared. Okay, Franco. So it's not like we're just figuring this shit out on the fly and we're just going to like YOLO in. It might seem like it to you, okay? But you have to understand that we rarely do that. And James AP and I have, we've been talking and looking at TRB for like the last three, four, three, four weeks together. Okay. So it's not like we're YOLOing in. This is, this is like three, four weeks in the works. All right. So, um, yeah, there's like TPO levels and, you know, anywhere between like 140 and 160. OK, if because I don't I'm not going to like gatekeep the numbers. OK, if you want to know, you can you can know. But there's a short opportunity potentially between what, like 140 and 160. OK, Franco. Um, but just just understand that, you know, like this isn't like some YOLO shit. OK, so um, I've been looking at TRB with James AP for like three, four weeks in the background. So. You know, I, I'm going to be disciplined with it. And the most important thing, Franco, is that I know like what my realized L would be when I get full filled and full stopped. And I'm OK with that. I'm 100 percent OK with it. All righty. Um, and Franco, if you're like serious about doing a, a TRB thing thing, then um, take a look at what I said. Take a look at load up Addis. Uh, or whatever you need to look at. Take uh, Tell me where the single prints are. Tell me where the point of controls are right and put together a plan layer on some fibs and um you know if you want to take a shot you know man up and take a shot but just you know make sure that it's not some uh copy trade yolo right and i know you wouldn't do that so uh alpz says if you start seeing oh i go up like this but on a larger scale into the 35.6 region would you cancel your bids um, are you talking about TRB? Because TRB is the only thing that I have blind limits for right now, LPZ. Because guess you know, if you're talking about BD, and I think you are, I'm going to wait for the sweep structure to form. But theoretically, if I did have, like, let's say you're talking about yourself, for example, do you have blind limits up there? I would say yes. I would say yes. I think it's a lot better. Again, LPZ, if you close your eyes and you're okay with like a like a $1,500 green candle to get your ass, 
and you're okay with that and your risk reward is like on point and you know you're okay with like what the potential L could be then i think the blind limit would be worth it but you're really only talking about a 200 300 difference in entry for a possible 10 15 percent uh you know gain in probability on the edge so it's up to you on how you want to quantify that okay good stuff good stuff all right, you guys, good shit. Good start to the week. Um, happy Monday. Most of you guys are in Tuesday already. So uh, International Lions hold down the jungle for us. The math is the math. The plan is the plan. Longers, rooting for you. Shorters, I'm rooting for you. Bulls and bears, we're all lions. Let's get nasty. Sato, let them, uh, tell them what happens if they don't use the stop loss. Sato, tell them what happens. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness, we got it. <laughs> oh god. Let's get it. Kimball was popping. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> you guys are fucking nuts, man. Hey, have a great night. Alright, stay safe. <laughs> hey, I love you guys, man. All right, well, hey, 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 don't, don't, hey, quit, hey, you better get your head out of your asses. Don't get uh, liquidated, just spamming the gifs. All right, trading, uh, the, uh, the exo is coming back online, ladies and gentlemen. All right, have a great night, y'all. Peace, everybody.